Hey guys, welcome back to the Coder's Code. Today we'll be doing a video on how to make a spiralizer on scratch. How does a spiralizer work? A spiralizer is a simulator. A spiral pattern forms because each clone moves in a slightly different direction, like water from a garden sprinkler. Let me show you a demo. You could even adjust the angle and the speed using the variables, which you could right click and change it into any form, such as a slider, which is what we've done for this project. So, I also want to tell you that we have taken this project from a book called Coding Projects in Scratch. So let me first show you the demo. As you can see, a spiral pattern is forming and there's a different color being painted on the screen. You could change the angle using the slider, as you can see. And you could change the speed. But I'm going to keep the speed as 10, as 2 because then you can see the spiral pattern properly. So without much further ado, let's begin by creating a new project. Please note, you must add your pen extension. Okay, first let's begin by deleting our cat sprite and getting our ball sprite from the sprite library. But I, sorry, make the size around 30 and make X to zero and Y to zero as well. So, when flat clicked, you want it to set size to 30. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, okay, so set size to 30%, and you want it to go to 0, 0. Then we wanted to create a clone forever. So we can find the create clone of myself in the control and you can also find the forever in the control and as it creates a clone we want it to turn around 10 degrees and what we want to happen is when it starts as a clone we want it to move two steps forever so basically we want everything in a forever loop except the set size to 30 and all so we want it to move to 10 steps change 10 to 2 and we also, let's check it out for now. So as you can see, a spiral pattern is forming. But in case you haven't noticed, um, there's some, the balls are actually getting um, crammed up at the edge. So we do not want that to happen. So what we could do is we could get an if then statement. And if it is touching the edge, we want it to automatically delete that clone. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, now as you can see, it's just deleting that particular clone that is touching the edge. Now we'll create two new variables called angle and speed. Make these two variables for all sprites. Okay, now we want to set angle and we want to set speed as well. Okay, set angle to 10 and set speed to 2. And we also want to change, turn angle degrees, seeing as angle is 10. And since we are going to have the slider, the user could adjust the angle. Next, what we want to do is we also want to move speed steps, change two to speed. So the user could also adjust the speed. Okay, perfect. Now let us do this. Now we have to change the color, but before we ha change the color, let's have a quick look at what we've done so far. As you can see, now I have the spiral form. And now what we have to do is you'll just have to right click the angle and click on spiral. You'll have three options, normal readout, large readout, and slider. If you click on normal readout, it's going to stay the same, large readout, something like this, and slider like this. So we can adjust the speed. I'm going to keep it as two for now. We could adjust the angle as well. I'm going to keep the angle as 10. So next what we have to do is go and add your pen extension right now. So right below the zero zero, you want to add an erase all. And we also want to set, set the pen size to 10. You could change the pen size to whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it as 10 for now then you can put a pen down right below it 
We also wanted to change pen color, so I'm going to add a change pen color by 10, except I'm going to change color to 1. Okay, let's check it out. Look at it. So a smile pattern is forming, and it's also changing the color by 1. If you change the pen size to around 100, it's going to look something like this. It looks really good, but I think it's a bit too thick and it's forming a great background. So if you want to maybe like make a background for your wallpaper, you could just hide the ball and it's just going to get aligned. But for now, something like this. Okay, so I'm going to change it to 10 because I prefer 10. If you click on one, it's going to be like this. You could put one or 10, it's your choice. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share our videos to others. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and scratch off.